Uh, hey guys, how you doing? Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. Hey, how's it going? Um, I went out fishing today. Now, <laughs> you guys have seen my uh, the shorts I put on today where it said Wednesday. I, I obviously don't know what day of the week it is. It's obviously Thursday. Wednesday, it was raining and snowing here, so I didn't go fishing. Um, but I was going to edit and change the day. I might still, but no big deal, really. Uh, I went out on the river today, and um, I'm happy to say that it was a jig day. And there's the first fish of the day right there. Um, you know, a nice chunky uh, smallie. That's on the Beast Coast open water sniper. I was using that baby Rage Menace uh, trailer. And that was the only thing I could get bid on. I got bid on that, um, on that uh, Beast Coast. But for four or five of the bass I caught. Um, and then two just regular, you know, that uh, Bass Tech tungsten flipping and pitching jig. And this was when I first started. I was going to get out early, and I went out this morning at about 8 o'clock, and my boat was frozen shut. Every rod locker and and uh, all my stuff was frozen. So I kind of gave it a little while, had some breakfast. Um, I, could, I, I, just, I couldn't even get the rod straps to pull across and lock the rods down, so I kind of had to wait for that so I could, because I couldn't get the rod locker open yet. Things thawed out as the day went on. And it actually was decent out. Um, there was a couple. I, I did take a run that, that up to a bridge that was a waste of time, but um, I got cold doing that. So this is just the views of some of the fish I'm catching on that Beast Coast um, open water sniper and just dragging it along the bottom. Um, fish pretty clean. I had one other bite um, that uh, I felt something set the hook, then felt a bump, and then there was nothing there. So fish pretty clean you know seven or eight bites i think i got all together throughout the day for the five hours i was out there i was starting to get a little cold there around four o'clock so i called it a day but you can see this is another decent one here to that that beast coast and i added the uh, shorts if you guys watch the shorts that i put on i added them to the end here so you can get a little more you know on the water audio if you guys want to see those at the end here i just spliced them all together um, but these are the first three that I got. Um, the first one was a good one. Uh, that was kind of a dink. But, you know, that time of the year, I'm just glad to get bites. What it was like 49 degrees. And this one's a little better. And I've kind of mixed in the, uh, you know, the, the close-up uh, shots and then the, the shots from the back of the uh, the back of the boat, too. I didn't get that weird. So I guess I just had a bad... Uh, you know, disc in that, in that scan disc in that last, uh, that last video. This was a decent one. You can see he's got, you'll see he's got those, the, I always think the bass look so cool when they have those, those marks on them, those black marks, those birthmarks, wherever they are. And I've seen many fishing shows where guys try to explain what it is, but they don't seem to really know. But I always think those fish look so cool when they have them on them. But there it is. There's that, that open water sniper with that uh, baby Rage Menace trailer. And just dragging it around, dragging it around. This is just the back view of that fish from the from the, from the back view. I'll throw those in just so you can see a better fish jump from the from a little further back. And I'll tell you, they would when they would hit it, they would come flying up to the surface. And that is the only thing I could get a bite on. The only thing they would bite was that jig, which makes me very happy. After I caught this fish, I tried throwing this. Uh, I've caught nice fish through this area on a spinner bait. Nothing on that. Threw the swim bait around. And now I'm just working one of those Bass Tech tungsten jigs. Um, I buy the jig heads. It's like an Arky style jig, half ounce. And I put the skirt I like on there. I put the rattles on there, and I have some super pork on there. And I, you know, I'm just flipping around this area. And I caught my two best fast, uh, two best bass of the day. And they kind of like, okay, I didn't really think you'd be over here, but I just figured I'd flip around. And here's the other view of that fish. And uh, he was a nice one. He was one of he was he was probably the second biggest fish I caught uh, throughout the day. You know, no super, you know, no four or five pounders here, but uh, you know, solid three plus pound, uh, you know, river fish are nice. And as I said, the water was, you know, I was reading forty nine to fifty you know, pretty much throughout the day, and it didn't surprise me because we've had this big cold snap that's come through. You know, all of a sudden we we have three or four days where it's in the seventies and then it plummets you know, into the 40s during the day and the 20s and 30s at night. And like I said, my boat was frozen. Like the, the floor of my boat at this point is still like ice. Every time I'd step to the back of the boat, I would almost slip. This was a nice one. 
there's that there's that bass tech jig right in his snout there with super pork on there it was a good bass it was a good bass so at this point i think i've got four in the boat and i just keep working up this shoreline here uh throwing the jig around and it was a nice pleasant surprise to find another one there now this bit this bass here I believe this one was actually the biggest. Um, you know, unless I catch a real monster, I'm, I'm not bothering to weigh them. Uh, you guys, can, you know, the fish can kind of guess these, probably in that three pound, that, that three range somewhere, three, three and a quarter. On a good scale, maybe three and a half, but this was a nice smallie. This was, this was the biggest one I caught uh, today. Not Wednesday, <coughs> Thursday. So I'll give you guys a good view of them here. And like I said, those shorts I put in the end, you can see these fish more. You know, he had that jig nice. He wasn't getting off. Nice, uh, nice pretty smallie there. Nice river smallie. It was actually nice enough to remember that I have the back camera going. Here's just another view. Here's the back view from the boat of that, of that fish. So this was my fifth, fifth smallie of the day. You know, an hour, hour and a half in or so. I probably should have just stayed in this area. Um, after I caught this fish, I fished up a little more, and then I decided to take a ride up the river. There's, you know, a few miles up, there's a bridge. I wanted to fish that, and it was just, a, all I did was lose some Ned Heads there. And um, I hit some wood. Uh, I thought maybe since they were around some of the wood down here, I'd go up the river and hit some different wood spots that I like to throw at and fish some I've never fished. And they all looked good, but then I didn't get any fish on them, so I decided to come. So I, you know, spent an hour or so up the river, and wind up coming back but see he's a nice smallie he's a nice smallie this is just that that view of me sitting down showing you that fish so he was a good one he was a good one got jig right in his snout there so like i said i i take a ride up the river um mess around a little bit and i probably should have just stayed in this area because then i came back an hour and a half later start throwing that football head jig around again along the rocks along that bank and I'll pick up another couple smallies here. This one, I think, is the one that might just leap off right there by the boat. He was an okay one, pound and a half, or maybe on a good day, two pounds, probably not. But he came off. If you'd like to see me lose that fish again, you get to see it again. But in this video, in this section, he from this camera, he still gets off. But it was a real, you know, none of these fish really thumped it. You know, it was a very light bite. So I didn't even know I really had him on. So I did probably didn't get a good hook set on. So he popped off. He didn't. He was camera shy. He didn't want to get a, a picture, a closer up picture. And I just keep working down this uh, down this line here. A few minutes later, just casting out in front of the boat, throwing that open water sniper again, dragging it along the bottom, and then. Another one was nice enough to bite, so I could finish the day with, with another bass. So it was a good day. It was a good day. And, uh, you know, this will be another, another clip here. Here's the close-up of that fish. And uh, that's it. That's, the, that's the, for today. Like I, I said, I got out probably around 10. Uh, fish till around 3.30, 3.34 o'clock. I was getting cold. And... Um, they really just wanted the jig, which like is fine with me. As I've said, if, you know, if ever it's a day where I can just catch fish on a jig, I got no problem with that. I got no problem with that. And some nice smallies, some nice smallies. So I, I don't know if they've really ganged up down there yet. You know, the section is very well known for them ganging up in the fall. Um, the water's still 50, which is, you know, getting there. So I, th I think it might be they're finally starting to move up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to just end it up here. I'm going to, I just spliced together the, uh, the shorts that I put up and the, the, the clips I did with my phone. So I'll just leave that audio in there. I'm not going to, you know, go the, do, you know, over, overdub the video or the audio with this one. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, you know, like, and share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I will see you guys soon on YouTube. Uh, enjoy all the shorts from today. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing and... First smallie of the day. Open water sniper. I don't know if you guys can see that jig. But uh, 
just came out on the river and finally got out. Woke up this morning, everything in the boat was frozen, all my rod lockers, all, everything. So I had to kind of delay my start and everything to thaw out a little bit. So first one of the day, open water sniper. <laughs> I'll keep you guys posted, Mark out. Guys, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing and uh, this is my third one of the day. Got some cool markings on, I'm not a monster one. But better than the last one. The last one was like a like a 12 inch or so. I, I didn't do any video of him, but you know they're biting the open water sniper. So I'm gonna throw him back. But so far, you guys can see that that open water sniper jig with that uh, baby rage bug trailer. And so far, three bass fished for about half hour, 45 minutes. So not bad. Water's about 50 degrees. So I'll keep you posted. Mark out. Hey guys, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you doing? And just caught this nice bass right here. And that was on Pig and Jig, or Jig and Pig. <laughs> just through the gym, just uh, coming up this one shoreline and there's a lot of laydowns here I like to throw at. And I figured I'd chuck the jig around a little bit. And all of a sudden, this nice smolly was there. Nice surprise. So that's uh, four smolies so far. Um, I've kind of been bopping around here, trying to throw in spitter baits and stuff. Went back to the jig and caught that one. So might be a jig day. I'll keep you guys posted, Mark out. Nice. Hey guys, Mark Northeast Bass Fishing and another nice one on that jig and pig. Just coming up the shoreline, throwing around its structure and just waffled it. So they're definitely on a jig bite today. It's five smallies in the boat so far. This one's a nice one. A couple of nice chunks on the jig. So I think I'm going to keep throwing the jig. So I will keep you guys posted. Mark out. Hey guys, Mark Northeast Bass Fishing and another one on the Beast Coast. Took a ride around the river and froze my ass off and uh, didn't find any other fish so I came back to where I started and from the beast coast again I just caught a small one had one get off and then I got this guy so another one on the beast coast they like it later